Oh, hello there, and welcome to Cocktail Corner. I'm the Gnome, and this is Gnome's Tavern. And we have a special guest coming later today, Uncle Pete, because <laughs> this drink is the Uncle Pete comes to dinner. Now, I'm also entering this cocktail into the hashtag Christmas Martini 2023 cocktail challenge with 62 second cocktail, Rob from Home Bar, and Booze on the Rocks put it on every year. And we had our other submission, which you can check out right up there. Now, the reason this one's called Uncle Pete Comes to Dinner is because Uncle Pete posted on his YouTube page, which you should go check out. I'll have links in the description below. And he said, in a little poll, he said, would anybody like me to help with a cocktail? So him and I started bouncing ideas back and forth, and I came up with this great cocktail, and it's been really fun to drink it during Christmas time. And don't worry, it does not have Malort in it. <laughs> so this is a shaking cocktail. So let's shake her up. So we're gonna add an ounce and a half of gin. And I'm gonna use this barrel rested gin. That is a local distillery in New Orleans. Then we're gonna do half an ounce of an aperitivo. I'm gonna do Peixo's aperitivo because I really do like this one, but feel free to use Campari if you'd like. And we're just gonna do half an ounce of that and throw the cap on the ground. <laughs> And then we are going to do an ounce of cranberry. An ounce of cranberry juice. I like this whole fruit, uh, no added sugar one. It's been really delicious. And Gordon and I have been making a lot of Christmas cocktails with it. So I would use the unsweetened cranberry, uh, which Vino did a lovely cranberry video down in the description below. And then we're going to do three fourths of our sweet potato simple syrup now how we did this we did just like the os s and you can see kind of some similarities to that one and we took some sweet potatoes we put them in the oven scooped out the inside put it with some sugar and some cinnamon sticks and then pureed it to make it this nice sweet potato simple very delicious was a huge hit in the distillery and the simple helped us win uh most create most unique cocktail was the award <laughs> And then we're gonna do two little dashes of our chocolate bitter. Two little drops. Oh, not dashes, but just boop, boop. Just a little bit of that. And we're gonna grab some ice. And we're gonna shake her up. Let's shake her up. Now part of the martini uh, challenge is it has to be festive and it has to be in a martini glass so we got our big martini glass right here hopefully it doesn't look too silly in, a, in this big old martini glass I didn't realize how big this one is this is a monster as I throw stuff around and there we go double strain it bam and then we are going to zest it with a lemon. I like zesting things with lemon, but you could also try it with an orange. I think an or a zested orange would be really lovely also. So, bam, hit it up, rub it on the rim, rub it on the, on the stem, so that way they always smell that great lemon. That was a good lemon. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of rosemary in there and pat, tat, tat, tat. And we're just gonna stick it on through. Bam. And then place it on top. Perfect. And that is Uncle Pete Comes to Dinner. Let's give it a try. Mmm. This one's really great. The gin comes in first. You get a nice little that chocolate with the bitterness, that sweet potato, and it's like yet sour and not sweet. So you do get that little bitterness with it, but it's a lot more sour. And I think it's that lemon, that lemon zest was really powerful in it. And thank you so much. And let me know, uh, who else would you like me to collaborate with? And that'd be really great. Or if you want to collaborate with me, I love collaboration. I love just spitballing ideas at each other. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the other videos. And the most important thing you should always do is Always tip your bartender. Ooh, I heard the doorbell. Let me go get my guest. <laughs>